The Three Wishes. Pictures by Yuri Salzman. Retold by M.J. Craig and creatively adapted by Miss Jill. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a poor woodcutter. He lived with his wife in a little hut near a great forest. Every day the woodcutter went to the forest to work. He took with him a sharp axe. He also took with him a bottle of cold tea and a bag of bread for his lunch. The woodcutter worked very hard every day and week, but he stayed very poor, and he was tired of being poor. I never have anything I want, said the woodcutter. I wish I had a warm coat. I wish we had a bigger house. I wish I had a little cart to carry my wood, the woodcutter said. I wish we could eat roast beef sometimes and apple pie. The woodcutter's wishes did not come true. One morning when the woodcutter was looking for wood, he saw a big oak tree and he was very pleased. Oh, that's a lot of wood for me, he said. First, I'm going to cut it down. Then I'm going to cut it up. He put down his bottle of cold tea and bread on the ground. He swung his sharp axe over his head. Oh, don't, he heard somebody behind him say. The woodcutter turned and saw a tree fairy. The woodcutter had never seen a tree fairy before, and he began to shake. His hands and knees were shaking, and the axe fell to the ground with a thump. Well, that's my tree. Please, please don't cut it down, cried the tree fairy. The woodcutter was so frightened he couldn't say a word. Please don't cut down my tree begged the fairy. Her eyes were full of tears. The woodcutter tried hard to speak. Well, well uh, okay, I, all right, I won't, he said at last. I won't cut down your tree, if you don't want me to. Oh, thank you so much, said the tree fairy. How kind you are. And now I will do something for you. I will give you Three wishes. No matter what in the world you wish for, your next three wishes will come true. Then the tree fairy was gone. The woodcutter picked up his axe and ran all the way home. He told his wife about the tree and the tree fairy. Oh, we could wish for a real house with many windows, said the woodcutter. Or we could wish for a tall castle, said his wife. Oh, we could wish for a cart and a goat to pull it, said the woodcutter. Or a shining carriage with white horses, said his wife. Well, we could wish for fine new clothes, said the woodcutter. Or even string of pearls and ruby rings, said his wife. We can wish for anything we want. Mm-hmm. We must think hard before we wish, said the woodcutter. Yes, we must be sure to make good wishes, said his wife. They talked for a long time, and they thought of many wishes. At last, the woodcutter grew hungry. He was sorry he'd left his bag of bread and bottle of tea in the forest. Well, uh, is supper ready yet? Of course not, said the woodcutter's wife. It's much too early for supper. Well, will it be ready soon? asked the woodcutter. <sighs> supper will be ready when it's time for supper, said his wife. Well, yes, I know, said the woodcutter, but I'm hungry now. I wish I had a nice piece of sausage right now or something. And down fell a great long piece of sausage right onto the floor. Oh, what a fool you are, shouted the woodcutter's wife. You've wasted a wish. Oh, dear, said the woodcutter. So I have. Oh, you could have wished for a whole pig, said the woodcutter's wife. Well, you, you could have wished for a whole farm with a hundred pigs. Huh, only a fool would have wished for just one sausage. 
you're right. You're right. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it, said the woodcutter. Huh. Or you could have wished for a, a golden crown. You could have wished for a whole barrel of gold, and here you go and waste it on sausage. I know, said the woodcutter. I'm really, really sorry. The woodcutter's wife scolded and scolded. Soon the woodcutter put his hands over his ears. Stop! Please stop! But the woodcutter's wife would not stop. A sausage! A sausage! A sausage! She said over and over again. At last, the poor woodcutter couldn't stand it any more. Stop! Stop! I don't want to hear any more about a sausage. I wish a sausage were stuck to the end of your nose. And it was. The great long piece of sausage was stuck to the end of the woodcutter's wife's nose. The woodcutter's wife pulled on the sausage, but it didn't come off. The woodcutter pulled on the sausage, and it stayed where it is. The woodcutter and his wife pulled together. They pulled and pulled until they were tired. Pulling did no good, and the great long piece of sausage was still stuck at the end of the woodcutter's wife's nose. Oh, oh, do something, said the woodcutter's wife. You, you still have one wish left. Hmm. The woodcutter looked hard at his wife's nose. Yeah, it's not so very bad, he said. I could get used to it, he said. If we had like a whole barrel of gold, I think I could get used to it. But I'm sure I can't cried the woodcutter's wife. And so the woodcutter had to use his last wish. Ugh. I wish that that sausage would come off the end of your nose. The great long piece of sausage fell from the end of the woodcutter's wife's nose. It landed in a white dish that was on the table. The woodcutter looked at the sausage. The woodcutter's wife looked at the sausage. Well, it's time for supper now, she said. We might as well eat the sausage right away. And that is what they did. The end. And the end of their wishes. If you want to be kept up to date when I post a new video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free. Thanks.